right there. This was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. They must use this dark magic to cross over into our world. And they seem to be killing specifically targeted people. But why? They always attack at random, all over the country. There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. Ah, oh, well, that's convenient. Shh. Remember, we can't be seen. Pardon my words, sir, but you're currently being the loudest. I said shush your dick-sucking lips, Moxie. Get down! Luna, close it! Wait, no! I can go Oh! Moxie! I smell colors. Back off, you tuxedo wearing fox! <laughs> I'd like to see the suits at corporate corners loses now. That was pretty badass. Super badass. You okay there? What are you doing sitting there? The boys are in trouble! Open it again! Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until... Open the fucking portal now! They aren't here! It smells like they went this way. Come on. Let's find the dumbass twins. Finally awake, huh, little fella? Your partner has been for a while now. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I, oh, okay. Tell us, demon scum. Who do you work for? Satan? How did you get to our world from the afterlife? Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock, and I'm still feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you fetch us some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more cappuccino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise, and make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have a venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots, affogato, and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add... Enough! We aren't getting you as coffee! Wow, I was getting massive douche chills just there, Mox. Congrats. If we have to, we are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts. When you say torture, do you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We would likely tell you anything think if it meant an end to the pain. And you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we might like it too much, and then you've got a whole new thing to deal with. What do you mean by that? Ah, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> Good one, sir. Daddy likey. You better stop laughing at us. Yeah. You are the ones at our mercy. It's hard to resist. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for what? Hours? And you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ha! Oh, a smart guy, huh? One more quip out of you and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting kinky. What? We aren't playing any of vile demon kinks. I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sickos. Please don't give them ideas, sir. Why not? I know the shit you're into. Stop! We are not getting kinky with you. Calm down, one. Don't let these monsters get to you. Hey, aren't we gonna get our phone call, bitch? Well, that entirely depends. Who are you gonna call, hmm? Your fat mom, thanking her for a fat time. Nice try, demon. His fat mom is dead! This is where they ended up? I think so. Fuck, this looks intense. How are we gonna get in? Lift me up to that van.
for an old lady. I'm like five years older than you. Stop insulting my mother! She's dead! Hey, hey, let's just leave them here until they feel like talking. Don't worry, Mox. If we keep being obnoxious, they'll eventually slip up and we'll get a chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly it usually works. Hmm. So the demons want to play games, huh? Well, we could play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just worried about Millie. She'll be on her way by now, I'm sure. Ugh, she'll be fine, Moxie. It would take a roided-up hippo to take down that woman when she's upset. We've never dealt with the human government before. She's in danger. Uh, do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? I can't tonight. I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie. And she's always... Five fucking feet away from you! It's pathetic! That was oddly personal. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my guts spill like that. Sir, they're filling this room with something. Fuck! What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth-telling serum. Oh, you just guessed that's what it is? Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Millie ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait! Ew! Fuck! Why that? <laughs> I knew it. Well, your suit is tacky. Fuck, I'm sorry. <gasps> How fucking dare you? You have shitty taste in music! I'm sorry! Shit taste? You said you liked that musical I recommended to you. I lied. I left halfway through. You... you said you loved it. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cats. <laughs> This is gonna be a good night. <coughs> Damn it, Moxie, this is all your fault. How is this my fault? Blitz? <coughs> I can't see you. God, this smells awful. What's that music? Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say- It Satan... is no prank, bitch! Hey! Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy- Stop it, are sir! Are tripping balls! No, what? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip. Oi, Gavalt! Of course, Blitz, this would be your fault. My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that you won't judge? Yes, bitch. Not trying to divulge too much, but I'm in too deep. So first of all, fuck you! This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay, because if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. Why are you talking like that? What the fuck does that even mean? I am simply speaking Satan's plain English. Perhaps you should crack open a dictionary sometime, and then maybe you can understand half of the frivolous things I can read on and on about on my daily life. Shut up! Why do you hurt me so? I know. Why must you I push my friends away? Why does it seem like a recurring thing that you alienate with your toxic routine? I don't know. Eventually, everyone goes. Because you're thoughtless and cruel, and you'll end up alone. And me, my dear boss, you 
don't know what you are doing half the time. And you depend on me and the missus to manage your foolish flights of fancy. I don't need you. I can do this shit on my own so easily. But you but don't, don't want to do things alone with those. You tried to sell that way. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> Yet you still shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you for being a selfish shit. shit. <laughs> I may have enough of it one day as well. Stop fucking talking, all of you! 